What's groovy? It's Moody, and I will be unboxing the Nintendo Switch Lite. Um, I definitely was really excited to get the Nintendo Switch Lite. I know a lot of people are saying it's sold out. I picked up my Nintendo Switch from Target. Um, I just happened to go on Target online. I put in the zip code for my store, and then they happen to have limited stock. Um, we're just gonna unbox it really quick. I'm gonna give you kind of a background as to why I chose to get the Switch. So here she is in all of her glory. I did pick the yellow color um, because I thought yellow is just a happy, cheerful color and I need some cheer in my life right now. And also that was the only one they had in stock, so whatever. Um, but I think I would have chose this color or maybe the gray. This worked out. Um, it's pretty lightweight and it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, I know some people, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I've watched several unboxings and I know a lot of people were saying the actual Nintendo Switch is a lot bigger than the Switch Lite. So I can't imagine anything bigger because I already feel like this is, you know, I don't need anything bigger than this. I was thinking about months ago before all this hoopla, I was going to pick up the Nintendo DS because I love playing the Nintendo DS and I just kept saying I wanted a portable game system. Before the Nintendo DS, I had a Game Boy Advance, which I loved. Before my Game Boy Advance, I had a Game Boy Color, which was way, 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 way back. Um, but I've always loved Nintendo's portable game systems. So I was gonna buy a, a DS off of eBay or something. And then I heard about the Switch and I was like, okay, I'll try it out. Inside the box, which most of the weight consists of the bulky charger here, we got that and the instruction manual. I know everybody and their mama is getting the Switch and what goes well with the Switch? Animal Crossing. I will say I played Animal Crossing in the past. When I was younger, I had a best friend who had Animal Crossing. And at the time, my mom wasn't gonna buy me any more cartridges. Like we couldn't afford to buy a, cart a new cartridge every time a new game came out. So my best friend, Brianna at the time, would actually let me play her Animal Crossing. And eventually she, I think she bought a new Animal Crossing and gave me her old one or either I saved up and bought one from GameStop or something like that. I got something, I got a used Animal Crossing. I remember that's all. I ended up with the used Animal Crossing and I loved Animal Crossing and I always thought like, I really wanted to play this game again now in my adult life. And I got Pocket Camp, but I feel like Pocket Camp just does not do Animal Crossing any justice. So um, I really wanted a cartridge. I know it was sold out in Target as well as other retail. Um, I ended up going on GameStop.com and they actually, I bought this game, I bought this game April 20th online. They offer free shipping and then they offer standard shipping for $1.99. I paid for the $1.99 standard shipping and I got this four days later on the 24th. So this is awesome. I got this today on the 24th. Um, so that was awesome, brand new game. And it worked out because I know a lot of people are saying it is sold out. So I would say check GameStop for Animal Crossing and then check as many targets as you can for the Switch. Um, when you go to Target.com, they allow you to put in your zip code. So put in your zip code for your local Target and then look in the surrounding area. And I would just go to the Target because when I went to pick up my Switch, my store said it had limited stock. I went to the Target, of course they keep the game systems locked up, so as soon as I went to go get Associate to tell her to unlock the case, there were two small children waiting in line for the Switch. Hmm. And I was like, you know, I really don't want to fight any kids, but... Mm. I was here first. My big ass was here first. Anyways. One of the kids happened to have a mom that was like, how much is that game? No, you can put it right back. And I was like, thank you. I've been there, kid. I know exactly how you feel. Um, so that's how I ended up getting this game, which is exciting. I know this has been such a huge craze for everybody, but I think it just goes to show like we all just want to take our mind off of the current situation that we're in now. I just wanted to share 
how I was able to get my hands on it. Hopefully you guys can check out your stores and pick it up too. Um, I definitely think it's gonna be super fun to play. I'm super excited to play it. I can't wait. And hopefully I will upload some gameplays as soon as I get into it because I love watching gameplays as well. If there are any other games you guys have on the Nintendo Switch and you think I should check out, leave it in the comments below because I can't wait to play. And also, I hope you guys are just um, doing anything to take your mind off of the situation we have at hand, um, whether that's playing games or just doing whatever you love, doing what makes you happy. I hope you do as much as that as you can. And so, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I look forward to speaking to you guys in the comments and hopefully you guys will catch me in another video right here on this channel. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. all right hi guys so i'm just gonna give you a little bit of gameplay had it for about four days now i want to show you guys my progress we have tom nook here gonna make a speech hello everyone this is tom nook the crook it's 3 48 p.m this happy tuesday april 28th 2020 now for today's news well this is amusing there isn't any news to report okay wasting my time as usual well, I guess that makes this a rather short news broadcast, hmm. That's all for me, bye now. So, since I've had this game, I realize it takes a while to kind of get somewhere with your island. Um, and the advantage is having friends in Animal Crossing that you can go to their islands and kind of buy from their island and like get the supplies you need. The only thing about it is I don't really have friends in real life, so there's that so because i don't have friends in real life i definitely don't have friends that play animal crossing so that put me at a disadvantage but i really wanted to get things going with my house so what i did was i went on twitter i went on twitter i put in the search bar anybody that was playing animal crossing or dodo codes and there are so many random people that just give out their dodo codes to their island sometimes they want you to trade items sometimes they want you to come and help plant flowers or water flowers or pick weeds and because of that I went to other people's islands I was able to get the shovel that I need I was able to get an axe that I need because they didn't have that for the longest on my island they still don't I was able to buy a bunch of DIYs so I can make things myself and be completely independent so that's how I've been able to get so far in the game um, so soon sweetie give me one minute I'm, I'm chatting here thank you Anyway, so yeah, I've managed to get out of that tent because that was not doing it for me. I needed to get my house. I'm sorry about all the junk, but these are all my supplies. And you'll see I've been collecting bugs and fish. It's just the fact that I know I'm eventually going to get a museum. And for some cool animals that I really saw, I just couldn't sell them. So I just said, well, let me keep them until it's time for me to give them to the museum and that tarantula I caught at night all of the most of the items most of the animals and fish I have I caught at night because I feel like nighttime has been the best time on my island to catch the most like I guess exotic animals I don't know if they call it exotic so yesterday I went crazy shopping online I went ham shopping online so I have some packages from yesterday and today in my pocket so let's open those oh so let's go inside I'll give you a quick tour of my home and we'll open all of my online packages first shall we this is my character bliss I named her bliss because she's just always so happy um, I really wanted her to have an afro but Animal Crossing has no diverse hairstyles so I just settled for this wavy bob but um, yeah, Animal Crossing needs to update themselves and make sure they have diverse hairstyles, but you know A lot of brands need to do that. That's really the tea. But anyways, this is her uh, This is just my get up and go outfit. This is my Daily outfit I wear to kind of get things done as soon as you enter my home Over here is my corner that I get ready in. I have my mirror so I can change my makeup and I have this little succulent plant that I DIY'd Here's the window. Um, as I said, I collected a lot of bugs and fish that I thought were really cool and I think would be great in the museum whenever I get my museum. So I didn't want to sell them, so I kept them in my house. I know that's a little weird, but I have no furniture, so why not? 
Um, usually at night I put the lights on, so that's why the lights are on now. But I have the koi fish, the clownfish, um, ladybug, the orchid mantis. Here's my bed, well a cot, um, and my nightstand with tissues on it. Then I have uh, this fish, I forgot what it was called. Um, the surgeon fish or dory. Um, the zebra turkey fish I believe is at the bottom and I forgot what the top one is called I feel like my island has a great selection of fish and I'm not even in a southern hemisphere I'm in the northern hemisphere and um, I don't know did you guys collect these fish as well am I the only one who has these type of fish or is this pretty common let me know last thing in my room is this nail kit because you know we're on quarantine everybody's doing their own nails and I just left it on the floor because I feel like that is very realistic for me to do in real life IRL so I just have it here on the floor, but obviously when I get more furniture, I can set up a nice place to put like nail stuff and whatever other accessories might look cute, like a jewelry stand I think we get in the game. My house is pretty simple, but this is the second upgrade I've had on my house, so that's why I have this much space. So hopefully I can go to somebody's random island today and buy some furniture. Um, let's get into everything I bought online. I mean, not online, at the Nook Center thing. Oh yeah, so I bought a tricycle because I plan on having a community playground once my island is cleaned up. So that's how that looks. Cute. What else? Oh, I bought another pair of sporty shades. I love wearing these shades when I'm outside working because it looks like I am... Looks like I am about my business, about my wildlife. It looks like I'm going to get her done, so... I like those shades. I have them in two colors. This is the new color I ordered. Okay. And this is the other color they offer. And the green ones. Those are cool. Okay. Now, I also got this t-shirt. Where? Let's see. Oh, it says bonjour. Bonjour. This is cute. I can wear this when I'm going to somebody's island. See what else. Oh, I got some shorts. Some. Um, oh, let me put my wife beater back on with my shorts so I can look so summertime. Where is my shirt? Hmm. Where did my shirt go? Oh, am I wearing it, wearing it underneath? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I got on my wife beater and my. Daisy Dukes. Let me get against the wall so I can really model these clothes for you guys. Now you guys can really see me in my glory or see her in her glory. This is a cute little outfit. The socks are cute with the vans. Okay. What else did I get? Oh, an outdoor bench. This is, um, I think I'm, I got this for the beach. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I think I'm planning on opening... Once my island's together, I want to open something on the beach, like a park or amusement park or something. So, I'll have that beach. We'll put that in storage. I'll show you guys my storage, too, if you guys want to see. Oh, this bandana I got. Yes, girl. Yes. Yes, I need to put that on my hair when I tie it up at night. Okay. This is a present I got in the mail today. Automatic washer? What? What? Who sent me this? I forgot. Oh, I think it was the Happy Home Club. Oh, perfect. Oh, and I like that it's black. That is great. Um, I don't really want it here, but where else can I put it? Mm. Uh, where do I want it? Yeah, I don't want it by my bed making all that noise. Mm, let's see. Maybe we'll put it in the corner by the door. Yeah, let's do that. Give me this. Okay. Oh, look at it going. Yes, washing machine. I guess this is a washer and dryer unit together because where's the dryer? But whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Um... Okay, what else did I order online? Oh, a garbage can. That's for um, outside in the neighborhood. It's really nothing special. I just bought it because I thought it might be useful. And... 
Oh, another t-shirt? What did I order? Ugh. Oh, I didn't order this. Those dodos gave it to me. So, this is my front lawn. Currently, it looks like a trailer park. Nothing wrong with trailer parks, but I just have a bunch of random stuff like this tire, these lawn chairs. I put on this bonfire at night for my residence. And this snapping turtle I have, I caught him in a pond and I just thought he'd be cute out here on the beach even though that's not his natural habitat. But whatever. I just, I want to do so much to my island, but obviously that takes time. So I thought why not just start where I can. So that's why I started with just this little front decor. And then I have my DIY table here on the side of my house and out back I have yeah, in the backyard I have this stink bug that I caught which I also plan on giving to the museum on the other side of my house I have the tarantula and the giant moth these two trees I planted I think they're cherry trees oh we got something here in the dirt let's see what we got a fossil Okay, cool. Well, let's talk to this girl because she's just been nat nat. Let's just talk to her. <laughs> yeah, let's try a rug. Maybe that might be cute. A small rug is a thousand bells. Medium rug is a thousand five hundred bells. Large rug is two thousand bells. Yes. Hmm. Okay, I can afford this. Um, let's just go with medium because I really don't know if I really want this. You're just in my face. Uh, my favorite size. Now, please, I will accept the money payment. You will like the rug. I will like the money. All will be happy and well. I have an exchange tickets as a bonus for a good soul who buys good rugs. If you save up to five tickets, you can trade for mysterious wallpaper and mysterious flooring. You bought a medium rug, so that means two tickets are now yours. I hope you will buy again. May the tickets tempt you. Hmm. Did I just get scammed? Let's check this out real quick and then we'll start the day for real. Spread out. Hmm? Oh. oh! I meant to put that tricycle up. Oh, it's cute. It's in the shape of a cloud. Oh. Maybe she does know my taste. Okay. I like that. I just don't want it here. And I should have got a bigger one then. But that's not really medium size, in my opinion. Mm. Okay, let's put that. Yes. Okay, wait. Okay. That's cute. I think that's cute. I wish they could sit down on the floor, like how the animals sometimes sit down on the floor outside. They just plop they just plop down I wish I could plop down that would be cute this is my one of my residents goose he's a chicken but he's a goose and he's really sweet even though he just cares about working out do you guys have him on your island if you guys play cherry girl oh she's fishing sorry I don't mean to disturb you I just want you to say hi no she's not gonna turn around she's like the emo doll thing big guy so I caught this oarfish one night crazy put him over there oh this tank is so heavy all right guys so that wraps up today 